Oh, I'm trying. What I'm trying to do is play this thing that we just came up with, me and Roberto, in A minor. Because it's the cadence of the day is A minor. Actually, this is not E7 to A minor. This is A minor moving to E7. So I guess it's legal. Here we go. <laughs> So we have contrary motion going on. Not that that's that big a deal, but we continue the contrary motion. And then we continue it. And then we're going to go back through A minor. By the way, that is A minor. Then we have A minor with a F added to it, which is actually a, a six, but it's a minor six, so you kind of have to call it a 13, I guess. I don't know, I get confused about that sometimes. But it's an F, and then but G's in the bass. Keep the F going down instead 
of putting it an octave higher, so I decided for some shenanigans. So that way I get the F down here. And the C melody up above. And then I wanted to keep it going up to D for the E resolution thing. So we do that. And then if you needed to, you could put some chord in there like that, but I tend to just go right now to another counter melody to bring it to sort of a B section idea. Bringing it to a B note down at the bottom. But I'm going to put a G9 harmony on top of that. B, D, G, F, which is the seventh. A, which is the ninth. into a flat five moving us to C major. I don't know if that makes sense. I hope it does. And all of this is moving down to an F sharp. I just, you know, I don't know about any theory behind it. It's just as I first was doing this C major, I thought about, oh, what about F sharp? That's where I should go. And I, for a minute, I was thinking about Taranta. And then by the time I got to the bottom of the scale, the first time I did it, I was like, no, not Taranta. Maybe D7. I was like, no, 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 we'll use it half diminished. That'll be sweet.